Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change a font throughout all of your website. So with just a couple of uh, clicks, you can actually change the font that's going to appear all throughout. So let's do that by going into either Themify um, Ultra Customize or you can go to Appearance Customize. Now this only works with Themify. If you are not using uh, Themify, then you'll have to find out how your theme does this. But in Themify, you go into Customize here or Customize here, either one, they're both the same. And you'll see this area. Over here you'll see um, kind of a sample of your website. And over here we're, we've got our um, our website. Looks like I didn't save last time properly, but anyway. Uh, this is just a demo site anyway. So you can see I've got a few fonts that I've already changed here. These are headers and or headings. Um, they're usually called header 1, header 2, but in Themify this is the header and the footers down here so they're calling these headings just so people don't get too confused so if we go into headings um, right here and we open this up you can see that there are heading one two three four five and six this one is header uh, is heading one and so I'm gonna change that one so I click this to open that option and you can see right now I have this core get I believe is how that's pronounced and I can change that by just clicking on it, it gives it a might have to click on it twice. Um, it's going to show us our web safe fonts. And um, right here, here's our web safe fonts. These are fonts that are usually um, installed on every website or every um, uh, computer that has a browser. Usually these come standard with the browsers. So these are usually safe with everyone. Uh, but these fonts are from Google. And Google has a repository where people can upload fonts. They can make their own fonts and upload them. Uh, they, they agree to share those fonts so that everybody can use them. And so Themify has made them available so that we can just uh, choose them right here. And you can see as I hover over the font um, off to the right, there is a little preview of what the font's going to look like. So let's go ahead and we're going to just do this one just, uh, just because it's here and quick and easy. And if I click that, you can see it changes right over here. And it's pretty easy to do. I could also um, change if it's italic, if it has that option, it looks like it does. Um, I'm not sure what N does. It doesn't seem to do anything when I click it. Oh, maybe it just removes. Oh, that's what it's doing. It's removing the formatting. Um, so it must stand for no formatting. There's we, We've got underline. Uh, we've got strike through. And uh, we can also make it all uppercase. Or we can make it all lowercase. We can make it upper and lowercase. Or we can just do whatever the font uh, was typed in. Um, so that is how you do it. You can also, you know, you can flush... Um, you can flush it uh, left or right. However, this is being overridden by um, the way it was typed up and the way it was safe there. So it's not going to matter in this situation. Um, I, I can also change the font color and that standard, uh, what the standard font color is going to be. I can click in here and then I can choose a font color. However, my guess is, in the app that's the case, you can see that this isn't changing because when it was added to the page, it was told it needed to be white. So that one is overwriting this one, which is good because sometimes you want to overwrite the default. So what we're doing here is we're setting a default color and we don't need to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, but this is how you go through it and you can change your fonts uh, throughout your whole website. 